number of artists in the exhibition have either spent significant amounts of time in Australia or reside here now, having migrated post Tiananmen Square in the late 1980s, or have exhibited and presented commissioned works in Australia. Two of those artists are Li Jin and Ah Zhan. And Li Jin is an artist who exhibited particularly in Sydney in the early 2000s. And we're really pleased to present three intimate brush and ink drawings by Li Jin. They are witty, humorous, and they exemplify one of the themes of the exhibition, which is simply urban life. The Arjan is a very interesting work. It is in fact a test work, a prototype made in concrete. Arjan, as we know, is renowned for his significant acclaimed porcelain busts. And this is a work where uh, it is like an artist's proof. Often when we think about describing themes and threads that are consistent through an exhibition like this, we can come up with blanket terms, overarching large-scale words like power. But what do they really mean when we look at the work of an artist like Rose Wong? We bring terms like feminism to a reading of her work. We think about binaries between masculinity and femininity. We think about female genitalia. We think about resin. We think about materiality. I recognise the value in not completely understanding and also the value in slowly looking and allowing a work to unfold in front of me. One of the largest paintings in the exhibition is Gorgen's The Cast and the Crew, which itself is a kind of cinematic title. And he is reflecting on film and cinema in his depiction of a group of individuals who have fixed on their faces particular expressions. Black and white, the painting is a comment on the veracity of what we say we believe, when we say we believe it, and why. Artist Chen Wen Ling is renowned for large-scale public works as well as his sculptural works. We have an arched form work called Community which here in Bendigo Art Gallery actually bridges the Jeff Raby exhibition of Chinese art with the rest of the gallery. It's beautifully positioned and in itself, it bridges West and East. Iconic architectural features are embedded into the arch. There are two important works by artist Jian Jun Si, who's currently based in London. One is a sculpture and the other is a brush and ink scroll work, which is significant because it is a so-called abstract work that explores personal expression at a time when that was radical. There are three works from An Kun's My Pretty Friend series in the exhibition. These are enigmatic portrait studies that explore youth in a contemporary environment. They are mysterious, the body parts are twisted and turned, they don't quite make sense. Another major photograph in the exhibition is Fang Yan's The People's Conference Hall from the series Power. This is an intriguing work, which again directly addresses us as the viewer. It's a work that explores abstraction and figuration, and in a way a sort of minimal history of contemporary art as well. It's absent of people. There are no people in the image, and yet the title, the People's Conference Hall, signifies that this is a state civic venue in China.